Particles similar to those that live near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant have been found in the Yenisei River. Being near such particles for several hours provides an annual dose of radiation. Where did they come from in the Yenisei? The archive of Tomsk Polytechnic University found an interesting document, Report on Operation of the Plutonium Reactor in Zeleznogorsk Krasnoyarsk 26. It is from this very reactor as a result of five accidents cooling water flew into the river. The mining chemical combined to produce weapons-grade plutonium was established after the Council of Ministers of the USSR issued a decree of February 26, 1950. Combined number 815 that was its original name was built at a rapid pace in just four years. Simultaneously with the construction of the plant, the workers' settlement was under construction. Gradually the plant was given a status of a town and a double name, Zeleznogorsk for secret correspondence and Krasnoyarsk 26 for publicity. In addition, it was known by the names Dodonovo and Dvyatka. Three nuclear reactors launched at different times were used to produce weapons-grade plutonium. The first nuclear reactor was first named LB-120. The abbreviation meant Lavrenti Beria, the reactor was named after the supervisor of the nuclear project. However, after Beria's arrest and execution, the index was replaced with OK-120, OK means special design. The entire nuclear complex, three reactors, and a radiochemical complex was located under the ground at a depth of 200 meters. It functioned for over half a century. It appears that the first reactor was shut down on June 30, 1992, the second on September 29 of the same year, the third and last reactor was halted only in the spring of 2010. At 8 a.m. on April 15, representatives of the city government and the mining and chemical combined pressed the stop button on the control panel. And only today, seven years after the reactor was shut down, the facts of the operation of the nuclear complex have become known. It s all about the goats. How did radioactive particles get into the mightiest Russian river? The very fact of their penetration into the environment should be regarded as a radiation accident, indicating an emergency at a nuclear reactor, says Fyodor Mariusov, co-chairman of the Nature of Siberia NGO. Scientists, environmentalists, and even employees of the mining chemical combined tell of several accidents today that resulted in so-called goats, heavy hang-ups, of fuel rods in the channels of plutonium reactors. Because of the destruction of these rods, the nuclear fuel, along with the cooling water, was released into the river. By the way, it turns out now that scientists and environmentalists have already had to sue the mining chemical combined more than once. These trials took place in 2013 and 2014. However, every time the combine claimed that no radioactive particles were released on its territory. Representatives of the combine brought certificates from Rostek Nadzer to the court. However, the archives keep the memoirs of Pavel Morozov, head of the Public Information Office of the Mining Chemical Combine, about the accidents at the plant. They reveal details of the events that for many years were considered secret. All the way back to the Kara Sea. According to the recollections, accidents started already in the first years of operation of nuclear reactors, which resulted in radionuclides getting into the NSA. Even back then, according to scientists, the NSA was contaminated with radionuclides for 1.5 thousand kilometers up to the Kara Sea. All in all, there were at least five accidents, according to other data, there could have been seven. The most dangerous hot particles were found by scientists of the Institute of Biophysics of the Krasnoyarsk Scientific Center of the Siberian Branch during a special expedition on Adamanovskaya Spit. These areas of radioactive contamination have the highest cancer rate in Krasnoyarsk region. Although 16 years ago the mining chemical combined started liquidation of liquid radioactive waste storage, accumulated as a result of many years of weapons-grade plutonium production these measures did not help to solve the problem of hot particles in the NSA. 
Activity of the chemical plant led to accumulation of radionuclides in many parts of the river in bottom sediments. In addition, apparently, there were several emergency discharges of water which cooled the reactors in operation. However, they could not start work on the Yenisei remediation for many years each time there was not enough money. 200 Radioactive Particles Meanwhile, a group of scientists from the Federal Research Center KSCSBRAS and the Sobolev Institute of Geology and Mineralogy of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Sobolev Institute of Geology and Mineralogy, Novosibirsk, conducted detailed studies of more than 200 radioactive particles found in the river valleys of the Yenisei. We take monthly samples of the Yenisei ecosystem near the mining chemical combine, and almost every year we make trips to longer distances, we even took samples near the Arctic Circle, says Doctor of Biological Sciences, head of the Radioecology Laboratory of the Biophysics Institute. Both particles containing cesium, strontium, plutonium and americium and activation particles containing cobalt and europium associated with possible corrosion of materials in the reactor core were found in the basin. Once in the environment, in particular in the aquatic ecosystem, these radioactive particles can settle in the bottom sediments, they can be carried by currents, and they can pose a danger to biological objects. Indeed, today anomalies in the form of spots of radioactive waste along the Yenisei can be traced for many hundreds of kilometers. A radioactive anomaly near the town of Yeniseisk has been known for a long time, their radioactive waste is located right on the bank of the Yenisei River. It should be noted that such a terrible element as plutonium-239 is the main product of the mining chemical combine. The half-life of this element is 24,000 years. Neptunium-237, one of the longest living elements, is also found in bottom sediments. Its half-life is 2.14 million years. Radioactive Butter Mushrooms Scientists say, everything found today in bottom sediments, in floodplain soils, is found in biota, in berry bushes, and, of course, in mushrooms. In addition, transuranic elements have already been found in currents. And not only in the leaves and stems, but also in the berry itself. Dried butter mushrooms which are so popular to pick on the banks of the Yenisei River in the impact zone of the mining chemical combine have long since exceeded the permitted norms of the radionuclide content for mushrooms which may be eaten as food. But people still go out with baskets of mushrooms. After all, radiation is not visible, you can't smell it or feel it on your tongue. Besides, chromosomal abnormalities of very high level were registered in aquatic plants near the mining chemical combine. That is why today scientists are interested in long-term consequences of hot particles' presence in the NSA. Do they interact with plants and animals? Is transfer of radioactive particles along the trophic chain from plants to fish possible? So the question arises, is it possible to eat fish caught in the Yenisei? And there are muksun and burbot, omel and eid, sturgeon and taimen in the waters of the Yenisei and its tributaries. But the main thing is that about 500 large and medium-sized rivers flow into the Yenisei. Have hazardous particles spread through them? Apparently, to answer all these questions now will also help archive documents about nuclear accidents in Zeleznogorsk, which were found in the archives of Tomsk Polytechnic University. Unless, of course, they are not hidden back under a reliable lock. Reference According to unofficial information, there were 14 reactors built in the USSR to produce weapons-grade plutonium-239. Six at present PA Mayak, Oziorsk, Chelyabinsk Oblast, five at the Siberian Chemical Combine in Tomsk 7, closed administrative territorial entity Seversk, and three at the Mining Chemical Combine in Zeleznogorsk, Krasnoyarsk Territory. This is the only plant that has been completely hidden underground. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments about what else interesting you can tell about this video. See you in the new video.